Come on, people, come on, people, come on, people. Cook up in Miss Faye Way, food is life. Come on, people, come on, people, come on, people. Cook up in Miss Faye Way. Welcome to Cookie with Mrs. Faye, where food is life. Today, recipe is cabbage and turnip. I first enjoyed this meal at a church potluck. The ingredients that we will need are two head of cabbage, one head of turnip, cubed, sausage, black pepper, salt, parsley flakes, beef broth, and onion soup mix. Well, let's get started. Here we are. I have my skillet with some oil in it. Uh, maybe about two teaspoonful. Remember, I'm a home cook, so sometimes I don't measure. And I'm gonna put some turnip in it, and we're gonna saute this turnip. The reason I put it on the edge is because this pot is hot. And so I didn't wanna put it over here and it splash or anything. So here is the turnip. And you can hear it's very, very hard. But it's gonna get tender, believe me, when I tell you it is. And it's gonna change color a little bit too. And as you can tell, and I, what I would do is turn up my pot a little bit And what I, what I also would do is add some seasoning on this. Remember, I shave what I put on this, but put the seasoning that you like. Make this your dish. So what I'm gonna add right now, and turn my pot up a little bit. I'm gonna add some black pepper. If you like a lot of pepper, put a lot of pepper. If you like less, then add less. Some salt. And You hear that sizzling? Okay. And we're going to toss. We're going to toss. I know it's still so hard, but what I'm gonna do also is put the lid on this and it's gonna Steam down a little bit and get soft. Coat it with a little bit of oil. Tell you the truth, it looks good already. Just with the turnip. But remember, you can also cook turnip all by itself. Just like you could cook cabbage all by itself. But believe me, try it together. It is one good dish. Oh, isn't that pretty? So what I'm going to do is cover this. And when I come back, I'll show you how saute they are and how soft it, how soft it is. I'll be back. Hey, guys, I'm back. Um, as you can tell, it is toasted. It's not all that soft yet. It's been in about 10 minutes. But what I would like to do now is add some of this broth to it. And what this would do is help to steam this down. Woo Look at that. So this would help it make it softer. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cover this and once it's solved, I will take this out and let it cool. Then I'll start the cabbage process. I'll be back.
Hey guys, this is the turnip. So what I'm going to do now is let this rest. I will be adding this back to the cabbage later. Now I'm going to add the cabbage to the same pot. I add a little bit more grease, but everything is the same. Okay, and this is not even all. I have a little bit more. But what we're going to do with this is I'm going to add the rest of the cabbage and I'm going to cover it and then I'll come back and show you how it's cooked down some. Okay, I'll be right back. I am back. As you can tell, the cabbage had cooked down. I add the, uh, the pack of um, onion soup mix. And this gravy that you see, a liquid, came from the broth. I did add some broth so it could cook in the cabbage. Now what I would do with this and let it cook down a little more, then I would add in my turnip. And then the final thing I would do would be the sausage. And then you have it. So I'll be back. Looking good. I am back. I'm adding the turnip. Ooh, look at that. Oh man. Remember, you can eat turnip all by itself. So try cooking it by itself sometime. Stir that up. Now don't that look good? Isn't it colorful? So after doing this, I'm going to let it steam down a little bit more. And then the last thing I'm going to add is my sausages. Mm, look at that. Um, by the way, I add a little bit of sugar. If you don't like sugar in your cabbage, don't put it. But you know, sometimes this is this a little bit, this a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and add the meat in a little while. Let us cook down just a little bit more because the cabbage is pretty much cooked. The turnip wasn't cooked all the way, but cooked enough. So now when it's steamed in here, it'll be just right. It had like a little bite to it. And there's nothing wrong with that, if that's what you like. If you want it a little softer, let it cook down just a little more. And I'll be back and show you me adding the sausages. I add the sausages to uh, the cabbage and turnip. And I'm gonna cover it and let it cook down. If you like this video, Please share, comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with the finished product. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. I know. I know. Ooh. Tell me about it. Mm, 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 mm. mm. Yes, yes, yes. Turnip and cabbage. Mm. 
Hey guys, here's the finished product. Thank you for cooking with Mrs. Faye with Food is Life. I'll see you next time.